Right, so today working on the uh, BMW glow plug module. Uh, I just wanted to show before I opened it fully. It's, it's glued on all around here. I tried heating it up to, uh, you know, loosen the glue. It just won't have in it. So when this is on, there's like a seam line all the way around here. So what I suggest you do is cut here, cut here, cut here, and just score here because that's the hardest bit to get with your Dremel and um, I won't worry too much about your Dremel disc because even if I put this Dremel disc down all the way this isn't even touching that um, layer underneath so yeah and if you open three sides and then you just score that one then you can break it off Right, so now we're inside, you need to take all of this um, silicone out because basically what you're going to be doing is replacing these wires because this is where the problem is. But it's not a simple case of taking the wires off and um, you know soldering new ones on. What you've got to do is you've got to take the wires off and then see these pads here. You've got to grind away the top until you see copper because um, I'm not sure how these are put on here. Maybe they're friction welded or something, I don't know. But basically what happens is these wires break or lose connection and that's what causes your glow plug module to fail. So you have to scrape all these pads um, till you see copper and you can't see it yet but the pins from this piece here or under here you need to scrape them as well so most of this I just got out with my finger just doing that basically so got most of it out but gonna have to get in between things and all that and for that I'm gonna use one of these get right into the edge try and cut it out and then maybe this piece as well but going to try and be a bit careful. I mean I suppose you could do it with a plastic tool if you've got a plastic tool that would be better because less likely to damage stuff but next thing is to clear all this stuff out. And something I forgot to mention you can test continuity in that from these pins to this you know just to check if it's working but to be honest there's no point because end of the day you're going to be getting in here and you're going to be replacing all of these wires anyway so what's the point in testing if they're good or not when you're just going to be replacing them all anyway so yeah it seems counterproductive to do that you might as well just open this up and work on replacing the wires right so just for reference know these wires all these go to this one here they don't have marks. These two are pin one, these two are pin two, these two are pin three, these two are pin four. This one is pin five, this end one is pin six, and this middle one is pin eleven. Right, so it looks like there's some tougher glue on here which is going to take more effort to get off so let's do a reference again so I remember these two pads are for this these two wires this pad is pin 1 two wires pad pin 2 two wires pad pin 3 two wires pad pin 4 single wire pin 5 single wire pin 11 and single wire pin 6 just so we remember which wire goes where I'm just going to rip them off and um, start scraping away at all this black stuff here because that's what I need to get off next and they're, bait, they're just in the way really so I'm just going to cut them and scrape away so I'm here, I just want to uh, 
show you where I'm at. Now just a reminder, these four pads here are for the um, pin one, two, three and four. And the last ones, the three, go on to, to the end three which is five, eleven and six I believe. I think that's right. And this is a difference with the uh, six cylinders. Now we have one there, one there, one here and one here. So for us it'd be pin, the first pin there, second pin there, third pin and fourth pin. That's the four glow plugs. And then you miss one and then put the three on the end the same. And then this side is three on here but on this one as you can see there's only two pads here so that's the difference between the four and the six so that's why you can't put one from a four into a six but you could probably do it the other way around though next thing to do is uh, clean up the pads I'm only going to clean up the ones I'm soldering and these ones here with the uh, gra engraving tool or Dremel you've got to scrape them back to copper so that you've got something to solder to, otherwise it won't solder. So that's next. Right, so it's all done now. It's not exactly pretty, but um, it's functional. There's no shorts. There's no uh, wires where this shouldn't be. Um, what I'm going to use to fill it, just because I have it, is this high temperature clear TV gasket maker. It's basically like a clear silicone meant for car stuff so I'm going to fill it up and then put the lid on. Right so I've filled it with the silicone now. I built up each corner so that when I put the top on it should stick in the corners. I'm not worried about sealing it at the moment because uh, that, that can come afterwards whether I put some more silicone on it or or put some resin, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But next is to put this back on, which I'll go like that. If I put the camera in the right position, it would help. Right. Squish it down a bit. And now we just wait for it to set.